Today is a victory and total vindication for anyone who stood up against the disgusting and warped mutilation of children by a load of ideological trans activists and Wild West doctors. The cash report is damning and reveals what I regard to be industrial-scale child abuse that has taken place in Britain, cheered on from the sidelines by a load of virtue-signalling lovies. A summary of the report shows the medical evidence and research for the use of puberty blockers and hormones was weak and poor. International standards were not followed when dishing out life-changing medication to children. Many children who experience gender dysphoria could actually have other mental health problems that need to be addressed, and there was a rush to medicate children without therapy. It covers a lot more than this, but here's my conclusion. Medical experiments have been carried out on children and the trans mafia who have infected everything from our education system to our civil service help to put the fear of God into anyone who questioned this, including parents. Now, if you look at how Stonewall and Mermaids have responded to this report, they've performed what appears to be a huge reverse ferret. Stonewall welcomed its findings. A mermaid spokesperson said this, trans youth tell us they want services which are accepting and respectful, which offer supportive spaces to explore their gender and provide access to medical transition if and when they need it. We are pleased the voices and experiences of trans young people appear to have been heard and respected. We welcome Dr. Cass's calls for trans children and young people and their families to be treated with compassion and respect. Not a huge amount on the actual detail there, though, is there? Then you have people like James O'Brien coming out with tripe like this. When reports like this are published, everyone claims vindication. Literally, everybody will claim vindication. The more toxic a debate is, the more any intervention sees everybody claim vindication. The only people vindicated, and I would say this, wouldn't I, uh, here today are the ones that have focused more on the toxicity perhaps than on anything else because until you get rid of the toxicity you're not going to help anyone. How dare he? Okay? I'm going to hand this over to JK Rowling who sums this all up perfectly. The consequences of this scandal will play out for decades. You did all you could to impede and misrepresent research. You tried to bully people out of their jobs for opposing you. Young people have been experimented on, left infertile and in pain. She is talking generally there and not exclusively about James O'Brien, by the way. If I sound angry, it's because I am bloody angry. Kids have been irreversibly harmed and thousands are complicit. Not just medics, but the celebrity mouthpieces, unquestioning media and cynical corporations. Hear, hear. Well, it's time now for me to hand you over to Graham Linehan, a man who bravely stood up against this madness, who defended children, who is now unequivocally on the right side of history. This is what happened to him as a result of his brave battle. Listen closely to this man, please. Well, it would be easier to say what didn't happen. Uh, from the moment I started talking about this issue, I had uh, friends uh, and even family members distance themselves from me. Um, I got threats. Uh, I got nasty emails, nasty direct messages some of them from people I'd worked with for years, uh, everyone telling me to stop talking, everyone telling me to shut up. Then I had the police at my door twice. They, they visited on behalf of trans rights activists. Um, I lost my family, uh, my marriage at least. I'm still close to my children, but I lost my marriage because uh, I kept losing uh, jobs and uh, opportunities um, and it was just kind of unrelenting pressure uh, the thing I thought would save me the thing I thought was a kind of safety net was the Father Ted musical because I genuinely thought my my colleagues on the show would stand up for me would see what was happening to children and would uh, realize that I was right to be uh, to be uh, taking the stand that I was taking. But uh, instead, they told me to remove my name from the musical and said they wouldn't make it unless I, unless I did. Uh, they offered me £200,000. I refused because I thought the issue was too important. Uh, I thought I didn't want Father Ted to be built on, you know, the ruined bodies of children. Um, and so, yeah, I just, it was just, uh, it's just been a nightmare for the last six years. 
I haven't written any comedy in six years. Instead, I've had to write journalism because journalists refuse to do their jobs on this issue. I have to say, uh, GB News is the one uh, 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 one uh, exception to that. It's just been a very long fight. I'm extremely tired from it. Uh, I, I nearly didn't get into Australia because uh, Australia, uh, uh, as the Australian authorities think I'm some sort of uh, bigot. And here's what he thinks should happen to those responsible. I think we have to be a little bit careful here, a little bit judicious in, in how we uh, find the guilty and what we do about them. There are some people who are more guilty than others. Mermaids, I think, should be uh, held accountable, very much so. I think they should be... Uh, investigated. I think there should be a criminal investigation into mermaids. I think there should be a criminal investigation into Stonewall. Um, and I think there should be an inquiry into the BBC. Uh, the BBC shows like I Am Leo, um, shows like that which push this ideology on an audience of children. I think they need to be held accountable. Um, so it's not just doctors who need to be investigated. It is the whole apparatus that uh, created this myth of the trans child, which we uh, now know thanks to Cass, although many of us knew it already, we didn't need Cass to know this, is, a, is an absolute uh, lie uh, that was designed to confuse, um, manipulate people, and uh, shame them into thinking that they were attacking a vulnerable uh, section of society when in fact they were trying to help a vulnerable section of society. Well, shame on those working in the NHS who experimented on kids. Shame on them for still trying to cover up the true extent of this scandal by refusing to reveal what's happened to around 9,000 young adults referred from the Tavistock Clinic to adult centres. What are they hiding? But this wasn't just a medical scandal, but a social scandal as well. And to those people in the education system who think it's OK to tell children that they've been born into the wrong bodies and set them on this path, get out of our kids' lives, you creepy weirdos. Mermaids refuse to respond to Graham Linehan's calls for a criminal investigation into them, while Stonewall is yet to respond to our request for a comment. In relation to Graham's calls for an inquiry into the BBC and its child programmes about trans issues, they said... BBC is proud to reflect all areas of children's lives, including age-appropriate representation of the different issues they may face, whilst helping them develop empathy and kindness towards each other as they grow up.